National Signing Day, making dreams realities, finalizing those commitments to play at the next level on the gridiron. And a pair of teammates signing this morning, Sam Burr and Turner Lockin, both Maine and Braves, signing on to play at Valley City State. Lockin playing at tight end and Burr at linebacker. Over at Legacy, though, Kiefer Glenn signing to play at Minnesota Moorhead, who is looking forward to playing in the defensive line for the Dragons. A really long time. It was playing football. It was always kind of the goal to keep on playing at the next level, and it's cool to see it come true. It was really cool. Like this conference room was packed with friends that I've had for years, and it was awesome to share this moment with them. Here are the other names that are staying in the state of North Dakota: Valley City State adding Century's Jaden Braun, also signing Hazen's Austin Richter. Dickinson State from some small school talent: Beulah's Amari Gilmore, Grant County Flashers Jace Freeze, and New Salem Allmont's Weston Coon. Three Magi are going to Jamestown: Thomas Drago, Hunter Ruziska, and Caleb Spitzer. Brendan Palmer, a man in joining them, Devin Heis from Glenburn as well, and a couple Beulah minors not listed. Looking at you, Mary. Potent offense for the Marauders last season. Head coach Craig Bagnell adding 32 names to the signing day, adding seven defensive linemen to top the position groups. The focus filling holes on the roster. Big thing was was positionally building depth within certain spots because we still have you know guys that are going to be redshirt freshmen next year that you know are still haven't even played it down yet, and so it's a it's it's a unique part of it. But uh, you know we're excited about the guys that are that are coming in. Some notable ND names joining you, Mary Lane Caraballo from Divide County, Central McLean's Eastern Fry, Jacob Fricky of Bishop Ryan, Ben Mansmith for Century, and Caleb Brist of DLB. For Minot State, finding depth on both sides of the ball is key during their recruiting. Head coach Mike Aldrich adding 15 new Beavers to his roster. All in, and all nine defensive players will be joining the team in the field in the fall, which Aldrich says that's something they needed to improve on from last season. We didn't uh, have a great year defensively this year, so we're constantly looking to upgrade not just uh, not just what we do defensively, but who we do it with. And we also want to make sure we got guys that can tackle. <laughs> that's uh, that's a major point of emphasis. Um, and smart kids that understand what we're trying to do, and then just let them go play and let them let them be free within the system. And some local talent staying here in the Magic City: Tyler Johnson from Minot High and Josh Will from Bishop Ryan.